buddies, Toronto guy here for another lovely super stupor, uh, forget the friggin' fancy words, for another Toronto guy e episode of Toronto Guy Cooks. Today we're going to be testing and filming an idea that I had. I was going to make something else, but I was in the shower all naked this morning. I thought, wait a minute, let me try something. So I want to try something out. We're going to film it, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'm still going to upload it anyway, so you'll know that it doesn't work. Now, we all know that roasted red pepper with cheese can make a very good pasta cheese sauce. I've made it before. But springtime is coming. Brighter colors. I want to try roasted yellow pepper and a cheese sauce. And the cheese we're going with today is Monterey Jack. Instead of all the usual red sauces that you see all over the place, we're going for something lighter and awesomer. And of course, we got our griller out here. We're going with a protein. We're gonna friggin' fry up some lovely Toronto guy e pork loin slices. So let's start. We've got our water boiling in our dented pot. There we go. And today we are going to use penne. Just a little, not too much. Uh, that's good. There we go. There we go. We're not going with a big batch of stuff today because this is just a test. And in my head it works because roasted red pepper and cheese, I've done it before. But yellow pepper, I wanna see it. I'm curious and so are all of you. So okay, so our pasta is pastaing. I'm heating up this little itty bitty pot to start our cheese sauce. We're gonna start with about a tablespoon of butter. Let's melt it. While that's melting, got our roasted yellow peppers. I roasted them today. They've been roasted. See the description down below for how to roast peppers. I've done it before on video. Very simple, very good. I peeled them, now they're yellow. We're gonna blend them up into a paste and go from there, baby. So let's put them in our lovely Magic Bullet cup. Excellent. Keep an eye on the pasta, multitasking like a man. That's right, keep an eye on it. Very good. Now we're gonna blaze up, blaze up. We're gonna pulverize our roasted yellow peppers in our bullet. Well, my bullet. You all don't all have a bullet because you're not as cool as I claim to be. Let's go. All right, excellent. Let's see how it looks in here. Let's see. All right, all right. Nice, bright yellow. Smells excellent. It is gonna work. It's gonna be awesome. Let's continue our multitasking. There we go. Our thingy here, we want it nice and hot for when we put our pork slices on there. So right now, don't do that unless you're a professional like I am. There we go, keep mixing. Butter's all nice and melted. So to this, all right, so you already made a mess. All right, I'm the freaking best. Add some cream, heavy cream, 35%. Let's add, uh, that was probably about a third of a cup. There we go. Let's give it a nice light mix. It's gonna be, of course we can add some more cream if we want to. Don't want it too thick, the sauce, but don't want it too runny, you know what I mean? Let's give that a chance to heat up. You know what, let's add a little bit more cream. Let's call it half a cup of cream, all right? There we go, half a cup of cream. Very good. All right. Ooh, look at more mess. I'm the best, baby. I'm the friggin' best. All right. You can go over here. Multitask. Our penne. Of course, you can use any friggin' pasta you want. Make sure you're recording. Yes, we are. Excellent. All right. How's that thing going? Ow, ow. <laughs> All right. Don't do that. I am a certified, legit food handler, so I can do that, and it's okay. Now we're going to grease up our lovely griller here, real quick. All right. Here we go. Give it a nice little douse. Let's paint it. All right. All right. All right. Nice and splattery. All right. Now, let's give another, our sauce another, let's give our sauce a little stir. There we go. Let's raise it to medium heat. There we go. Under multitasking because I can because I am after all a man and that's what men do all right very good now we're gonna add our pork loin slices what I'm looking for is grill marks for presentation 
I've seasoned our pork loin with a just simple salt and pepper. We're gonna let our pork do the talking on its own. Okay. Right? So what I'm gonna do, these are about half an inch thick. I'm gonna grill them two minutes each side, but I'm gonna turn them after a minute to get the nice XXX thing, you know what I mean? So there we go. Let's add our pork. There we go. Very good. Excellent. Go for about a minute, and then we're gonna turn them a little and then flip them after another minute. Now, continue multitasking. Oh, already smells very good in here. It's the salt and pepper, speaking of which. Now we can season the other side of the pork. There we go. Salt and pepper, however much you want. There we go. There we go. There we go. Pepper. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Gently paint it to spread it all out. Excellent. Another quick stir. Now it's been roughly a minute. Let's cross these. Let's like give them a little quick little, right? Like, come on, man, cooperate. Like that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Let those go for another minute. We're gonna add our cheese. There's about half a cup of grated Monterey Jack. You can use more, use however much you want. Let's give that a stir, let it melt. All right, baby, love it. Love it. Ah, Toronto guy's cooking with his face. All right, let that melt. Continue our multitasking. Pasta's getting good, getting cooked, getting nice, the way we like it. Very good. We'll let our pork go for another 25, 30 seconds. Ah, springtime, baby. My favorite time of year. When all the babes wear their friggin' little shorts and all that stuff, and I can just look and be like, yeah, I look, but you ain't getting my money. That's right, my money. All right, let's melt our cheese in our sauce. Give this a top. Now we can turn our pork slices. See how everything looks. Hopefully it's not gonna get too smoky in here and set the fire alarm off or smoke alarm. Let's give them a flip. Oh, oh, oh I love it, love it, love it. There we go. Oh, oh beautiful. Now we didn't get the X crossroads I was looking for, but still grill marks. Because if your food looks good, it manages to taste even better. It's just the way it works. All right, how that cheese doing? It's getting there. All right, multi-pass. All right, because we're gonna give our pork another 30 seconds or so. And while we're doing that, Let's add our yellow roasted pepper mix, or no, it's it's not really a mix. It's it's yellow. It's like paste. It's awesome. It's lovely. All right, very good. Give it a quick little stir. Here we go. We'll stir more. That's right, maybe that's what I was looking for—the bright color. Quickly give our pasta a stir. All right, a quick stir for the pasta which is almost done. And we're gonna give our pork loin a turn. There we go, excellent, 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 excellent. And we continue stirring. Ah, there we go, blend well, nice color. All right, gonna be nice, saucy, excellent. Oh, I can already smell. Oh, this makes me want to go like this. Like that. <laughs> there we go. Our pasta is just about, just pretty much ready to done. Ready to done. It's ready to go. There we go. Let's go another 30 seconds to a minute. Allow our pork con to continue porking. Go like this for a second. Con 
continue to stir. Let me taste this real quick. Just let me just give a little taste. That's good. It's bold. It needs a little salt to taste to bring out the real to really bring out the flavor. And I can't remember. I can't believe how long I went without using salt in my food. I always thought, no, salt's gonna give you a heart attack. Well, it's also gonna make your food taste awesome. All right. Pork. You see how our pork's looking? That's gonna look good. That's still gonna look good. It's still gonna look fine. There we go. So obviously we're gonna use the top side. But there we go. Ooh, looks excellent. We're gonna let the pork sit for a bit to let it cook inside. It still cooks inside as you let it sit and take it off the heat. Let it get to know each other. And then we're gonna plate it and eat it, all right? Our pasta. Ooh, it's definitely done. Ooh, yeah, baby. Looking good. Penne. I like penne pasta. I like it more than I like you. <laughs> all right. Let's drain it in our colander. There we go. Let's add a wee bit of oil just to make it all nice and slidey and squiggly. Give it a mix. Ah. There we go. Blend it. Make it all lovely. Sex appeal. Makes the meal, baby. Yeah. All right. All right. Our sauce is not thick as anything. It's not too thin. It's great. Let's taste it since we... Let's uh, have a little taste since we salted it. I am the king of every one of you watching and everyone who's not watching. Holy freaking awesome it worked <laughs> there we go let's mix it on up ah yeah thinking i could have uh, used some uh maybe chopped up some red pepper just to have more color but hey we're experimenting here all right let's give it a mix very good ah of course, some will say, that's way too saucy, man. Way, way too low. Well, it depends on what you like. And I like food. And the bottom line is it tastes friggin' awesome. Very good. So we're going to let this sit for a little bit, like a couple minutes, maybe one or two minutes. Let the sauce, the heat from the sauce escape so it'll the, 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 the moisture will like evaporate a little. It'll sauce up even more in like, in like, in like right now. All right, so it's been about two minutes. We've let some moisture leave our sauce. It's still looking nice and creamy and excellent. As I said, this was an experiment. I actually have a red pepper in my fridge right now. now it's gonna take too long to chop it up, but next time, just for color, I mean, it tastes, let me just look, it tastes, it tastes, um, mm. It tastes freaking phenomenal. So, huh, I know what to do. First, we're gonna put some pasta in our bowl. Let's start bowling it. All right. See, as you, if you leave it a bit, let the moisture escape, the sauce in the cheese sauce thickens. Excellent, excellent. I am the king of your world. Right on. Let's get our lovely bowl, our lovely ladle, Yo. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, don't want to overflow it. Got to add some pork slices to it. Ah. I've already cut open one of the pork slices to make sure it's cooked through and it is. I want to give it a nice little taste on camera. That's good right there. All right. Yeah. Mmm. Salt and pepper, man, amazing. Oh my God. Oh yeah, shit. Wait, wait, first of all, wanted to add some color. Red pepper flakes after we plate it. You don't want to do it before you plate it and then mix everything because the red pepper flakes will disappear. You want them standing out. There we go. This adds some extra artisticness to it. Of course, get some on the sides because the pork's gonna be on the top. Of course, we don't want too much of these. We don't want to burn our faces off. And of course, our lovely pork loin 
slices. We're gonna add two of them. Try not to go squiggly and all over the plate or the bowl. There we freaking go. All right, a finger looking good. All right, as usual, you selfish clowns. Only Freeman and Fish give me money. So the lighting does no justice for how awesome this is. So I have no choice but to take a picture and insert right here. And there you have it, kids, it worked. Pork loin, grilled pork loin with penne pasta in a roasted yellow pepper and Monterey Jack cheese sauce. And it's freaking excellent and simple. May not have looked simple with all the multitasking, tasking, but only a few ingredients, easy to do, tastes amazing, I'm the best around. Nobody can ever bring me down better than Daniel, son. This is really friggin' good. Let's go taste it in my mouth. We'll see you next time on Toronto Guy kicking ass in the kitchen.